In this video, I try again to see if we can grow figs hydroponically. All right, you guys. Well, you know, it's it's winter time here in Seattle and we're getting a little bit stir crazy already because you know, we have to be cooped up inside. I've been sick and not motivated to kind of work on videos as much because you know when you're sick you just want to do nothing <laughs> anyhow um i was inspired on fig addiction by one of our members who did a uh deep water culture fig and you know it happened to work really well for him and i haven't tried uh redoing hydroponic figs here for the last couple of years because uh i don't know things got busy but anyhow, I just pulled this guy. He's dormant um, out of a one gallon pot. The variety is an unknown. Um, so I really don't care if it works or doesn't work that badly. My guess is this is probably a, a Desert King. And uh, I'm trying to rinse out all of the soil from this thing. You know, so that way I can get just a nice root ball. And... Um, have that to do my hydroponic fig now um, this member uh, and I have to look up his name again so I apologize if I don't remember your name right now um, I'll post it below but you know he did show that his hydroponic fig is doing really well uh, so to me that's great I mean I love just kind of experimenting and playing around with different methods uh, of growing figs you know rooting cuttings and everything else so uh, I guess in this video what I want to show you is how well this is gonna work all right let me use both hands here so I can get this done so I had to take a stick and kind of poke at the uh, the soil and you can kind of see how much perlite I end up using in uh, some of my plants, my pots, quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more research and see whether or not perlite is bad for the environment. I'm not sure if they're really sustainable. Um, you use a lot of perlite. Anyhow, I think this is good to go. Just need to shake off the rest of this perlite and then we'll add it to a five gallon bucket what I'm gonna do is run um, and air hose into that and add in my hydroponic mixture and then go from there all right so we got our set up here we got our figs sitting over there some hydrogen balls air pump air hose with air stone and then uh, our five gallon bucket and this is what I'm going to use as far as fertilizer for now because I actually have not been growing hydroponic plants and uh, I do have some stuff that I've left over from previous years. However, I'm going to add in some big bloom from Fox Farms, tomato hydroponic fertilizer, silicone blast to strengthen up the cell walls, and a pinch of Epsom salt. Okay, I'm going to get it all mixed up into here and uh, we'll see how this works out. So now that I've got, got everything mixed into the water, I've got that water line right to about the second holes. And uh, I'm just gonna add the plant. Okay. I'm just gonna let it sit like that. Just add the hydrogen balls. Just a little bit and keep feeling. Sweet. Oh yeah, I just wanna point out that Dennis Johnson on the forums has been able to grow his figs pretty well hydroponically as well. So uh, thank you Dennis for doing that. You are also my other inspiration to get this done. I don't want this to sit too low. I want to bring it up 
so that root level is right about the surface level. That way, there's a little bit of air for some of the roots and it doesn't drown. Okay, so that's it. Now, we're ready to plug it in, bring it inside of the house, put it under some light and see how well it does. Okay, this is about two weeks later. You can see that the plant is waking up from dormancy and there's new buds on there. And let's, let's check out the, the roots, shall we? It, it's not so bad, it's, it's coming out of its um, hydrogen. I don't see any white roots, meaning it's, there's not a lot of new roots. Um, but this is pretty decent progress, much better than last time. So here's an update date on the hydroponic fig. It has definitely woke up from dormancy and the leaves are sprouting out. Um, they're coming out kind of wonky though. They're not, they're not like these, all right? It's a good looking leaf, but these guys are looking bad. It's kind of deformed. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see as it grows. There's a follow-up video on the uh, hydroponic fig. So this thing has been in this bucket now, I don't know, let's say about three to four weeks. Um, it has woken up. <clears throat> I haven't given it any additional lighting. And so I think that uh, it's causing it to grow really leggy. Um, and the leaf development is kind of funky on this. That one just broke off really weak um, and deformed. So I don't know, maybe I'll change out the solution <clears throat> and um, try to give it some more light somehow. But you know, the way this thing is growing, I am not super excited about it because um, and it could be just lighting. You know, I've got these guys sitting in a southern uh, window here uh, and this one isn't even directly uh, against the window and so it's it's getting indirect light um, which isn't good enough for it right now uh, but it's alive and I'm kind of excited to see what will happen you know as the days warm up I can actually take it outside and and test it and see how well it will do um, but yeah follow up on hydroponic fig Grows just fine in the uh, in water, no soil. Leaves are kind of funky and wonky, but you know, I think if I gave it some light, that would change things up quite a bit. I'll do another update and uh, see how it'll turn out. Not too happy with the growth I've had in seven weeks. I made some changes. I bought some tiger bloom, some grow big, and some big bloom from Fox Farm. And then I popped on a CFL bulb. Made a huge, huge difference. Check this out. Okay, so check this out, you guys. This is my hydroponic fig right here. Uh, I've got it under a CFL bulb. I'm sure it's not strong enough to uh, really produce, you know, some great um, vegetation growth, but you know, it's enough for this experiment as far as um, proving the, I guess, the ability to grow a fig hydroponically. So, yeah. And yeah, this thing's put on about, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches of growth. You know, the first leaves that came out were a little wonky and funky like this. Right, I changed the solution, added a light, and now it's growing some true uh, fig leaves. So, yeah, if you were curious about growing a fig hydroponically, it can be done. You can't, well, maybe you can, but I started with a kind of a, a, a weak cutting in a previous experiment. That didn't work out too well, but if you use and establish one to two year old plant and then um, you know started this project when it's dormant you can definitely grow a fig hydroponically now uh, because I have it under a weak light it's kind of spindly and leggy um, so not the ideal kind of growth you know if I had better light on it then I think this thing would be um, 
It would look a lot better than this. <laughs> but anyhow, you know, that's that's the experiment right here. Can you grow a fig hydroponically? Yes, you can. Because I am. Let's check out the roots. All right. That's it right there. It's working its way out of the, uh, the hydrogen, but uh, you can tell that it's... Uh, Still got some ways to grow. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot more videos that I need to post. I've just been really busy and kind of lazy about doing it, but um, I'll, I'll produce them and get them out soon. Bye, you guys.